Hello everyone, it's Dr. Dave. Hope you're all doing well, enjoying your week. You made it to day three of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is here. Coming at you on behalf of the Toronto Neck and Back Pain Clinic with your daily health update for Wednesday, May the 5th, 2021. I'm gonna share with you six areas of health and wellness news and information somewhere around this video. You can read through all six of those areas. If you'd like a hard copy of the daily health update, you can DM us on social. Send us an email here at the clinic or even give us a call. We will be sure to get that to you. Not going to treat, diagnose, prevent, or cure any illness or disease with our time together today. However, you just never know what your wonderful body is capable of when you continue to create a good environment for it to do what it's designed to do. It may just get better if you need it to, and it'll stay well if it's already doing pretty darn good, which is great if it is. Let's make sure it stays that way. And if it's not, don't worry. You can always be better if need be. Just have to follow the right steps. So we share some of that information on a daily basis. Um, some of it is clearly uh, applicable and it pertains to a way that's obvious. Other is just interesting news sometimes we pass on. Like this first little piece of information from the University of Michigan, April 2021. It says that many adults don't have living wills. An analysis of data from the National Poll on Health Aging revealed that only 46 percent of adults had completed at least one of two documents, medical powers of attorney and a living will, that can help loved ones make medical decisions on their behalf when they are unable to do so. So to make sure you get the care that you desire and to ensure that you help those around you make these difficult decisions when and if need be, it's good to make sure that all these dots or ducks, if you will, are lined up in a row. So good consideration there. The Hospital Nutrition uh, Spain report, April 2021, talked about most college students not having uh, enough produce in their diet. They looked at over 5,000 university students by questionnaire and only 13% consume at least five servings of fruits and vegetables per day and those with inadequate fruit and veggie intake were two to three times more likely to be overweight as well. So uh, good to start our uh, young ones when we can on the habit of fruits and vegetables regularly throughout the day as much as possible. But as we get to be teens ourselves and into uh, living our own life, we want to ensure that we understand the nature of the benefit and some of the necessity behind getting those fruits and vegetables into our diet. Now to couple that, unfortunately, with that low fruit and vegetable intake, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, April 2021, also said that teens are becoming less active as they age. They looked at data from the Avon Longitudinal Study of Parents and Children, and researchers report that teens tend to engage in more sedentary activity as they approach adulthood, which correlates with an elevated risk for depression at age 18. So the activity is not only good for our fitness, our overall health and wellness, and works well with that nutrition, but both of them, the nutrition and the fitness, are also good for our mental health and wellness. So. Uh, good again to make sure we encourage some activity in their lives when they're young and hopefully they embrace that. But as we get into early, early adulthood and beyond, we want to understand the value of that stacking the deck in our favor to avoid health problems in the future. Sometimes there's no immediate gratification unless you find something you enjoy doing in terms of activity or fitness, in which case you can have fun while you're doing it and uh, also make sure it supports your health and wellness for the future. The BMC Pediatrics April 2021 report looked at vitamin D and magnesium supplements to be that it would be helpful for children with ADHD. And you can read through the results from that study. But uh, most North Americans uh, to begin with are low in both of those nutrients. So it's good to uh, include those in some way, shape or form. And always want to contact a qualified healthcare provider to make sure you customize, individualize and personalize those choices and decisions with your nutrition for you. Um, but based on the statistics, it would not be uncommon to find someone who doesn't at, need, at, need, at least need to complement their diet with vitamin D and magnesium. The BMC Medicine Journal, April 2021, also looked at diet and how it relates to the heart. And they found that too much added sugar and not enough fruits and vegetables 
are bad for the heart. It seems like a common theme in today's daily health update. A review of data from the UK Biobank study involving over 115,000 adults over a five-year time frame revealed that a diet featuring a high intake of sugar-sweetened food and beverages and low consumption of fruits and vegetables is associated with an increased risk for cardiovascular disease and premature death. So um, these lifestyle factors, so valuable, they're fundamental. And anything that's fundamental and you're going to do in some way, anyway, habitually, you've got to eat. Uh, you don't necessarily need to get up and <laughs> move around, but you probably want to. You probably want to do, do something fun and engage in something that's interesting. Uh, and because they're fundamental, uh, you might as well do them in a meaningful kind of way. And uh, they will help take care of yourself. So there's some good information there for the middle of your week. I hope you enjoy it. Share it with your friends and family and uh, get on track if you're not already. And if you are, just know you're doing the right thing. Uh, the research and literature tells you so. Tomorrow's Thursday. We'll be back with the last video daily health update for the week. And then we'll send a written format towards you on Friday. Head you into another good weekend here in May. Take good care of yourselves. Uh, be happy. Sh share some positive vibes with those around you. Joke a little bit. Laugh a little bit. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.